Hello, welcome to lesson 35, Access Modifiers, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn the types of access modifiers. Right now, you can find here, there are five different access modifiers in C Sharp. They are private, protected, internal, protected internal and public. Right now, in this session, we are going to concentrate only on the three different access modifiers. They are private, public and protected. To understand them very clearly, we'll parallelly code in Visual Studio also. What is private access modifier? If you hang a field and to that field, if you provide as private as an access modifier and that field or that member are available within that class only means it, it will be available only in that containing type and if you try to access that member outside that class then you can't do that because your member is private there so here we will see a brief demo of it a brief code of it in your uh, visual studio and public members are available anywhere it means that you are having a class and if you make that class members as public and those members are available anywhere in your program okay now to understand them very clearly we'll jump into visual studio and we'll start coding okay to understand what is private and public what we'll do we'll create a class class name as employee okay and I'll make it as public class once I'm done with that, okay. Now I'll add a field which is private one. Private int I'll use ID. Okay, then I'll I'll make use of property like uh, I'll create a property like which is public. Public int ID. Okay, then I'll use okay. get and I'll use other prop other property this is auto implemented property and how do I get and set the values it's very simple now I have to get the value how do I get the value return ID and I have to set the value how do I set using this keyword this dot ID is equal to this one okay now you can observe my class employee has two fields in it one is the int ID and another one is a property this is field and this is a property where in this property what we are doing we are getting and setting the values for this field okay you can observe the difference between this and this is this is private field and this is public property okay now what I'll do I'll come to my main program and I'll create an instance of a class employee and I'll like and I'll like I'll try to access the members like uh, ID of uh, ID field and property ID okay how do I create like uh, employee e is equal to new employee okay when I use in a create what did I do I just created an instance of my class I created an object of my class employee and using that object I'm trying to access the field ID you can observe here I'm getting only the property ID okay then if I assign a value to it like 101 it works fine and when I build this it works fine the build started and it succeeded but uh, why why the build has succeeded because you can observe this property is, uh, is public since it is public I can access this ID anywhere in my program but uh, you can observe this property is private so what I'll do is I'll come here and instead of uh, calling this ID this property I'll call this call that field like uh, I manually type it ID okay uh, it's caps I not a problem okay and what, what I'll do I'll, I'll like to print this on the console screen I would like to copy this and okay now you can observe it is throwing error because it's telling that employee underscore ID is inaccessible due to its protection level it means that uh, this field is private you can't access it outside this class this this field this field is accessible only within the class employee from year to year not anywhere other than that so when I build this program you will get a compile type error telling that employee ID is inaccessible due to its protection level how it is protected it's protected protected using the private keyword and but this property is accessible anywhere in, in your 
in your program okay this is what about private access modifier and public access modifier and we are left out with the protected members okay what do you mean by protected access modifier for example you are having a class in that class you are having a members which are having protected access modifier and what is the advantage of having the pro protected members is within protected members are accessible within the class itself and also they are accessible to the types to the class which they are inheriting, inheriting this protected member to be very simple we'll jump back into visual studio and we'll start coding what we'll do is we'll just de delete this piece of code and this also okay i'm having a protected field i'll name it as int id okay uh, i'll create other class like uh, public I'll name it as contract employee okay the thing is this contract employee is inheriting employee class also okay now now we can observe I'm having two classes here class employee and class contract employee and this contract employee is inheriting the class employee if you're not aware of inheritance you can watch my previous sessions which I've explain clearly what inheritance is okay here my contract employee class is inheriting the employee class so whatever the fields or the methods which are present in the, present in the class employee are accessible to contract employee also so what I'll do I'll create a method here public void print method I'll name it as print okay then what I'll do is I'll just create an instance of this contract employee okay contract employee CE is equal to new contract employee and what I'm trying to do here is I'm using CE dot you can observe my field this protected ID field is accessible is accessible to the class which is inheriting it okay now if I assign a value to it and if I build this project if I build this project it works fine you can observe here the build succeeded okay but what I'll do is I'll just cut this or I'll just delete this and I'll create this contact employee in the main method okay contact employee CA is equal to new contact employee if I try to see dot E you can observe the ID field is not visible here because because protected fields are accessible only to the classes which where they are present and also to the classes which they are inheriting because you can observe here protected field is present in the class employee but we are having a contract employee but it is inheriting the class employee so this contract employee class is able to access this protected field but when we are trying to access in the main method it's not possible that is the speciality of protected access modifier okay thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to Ankuro training below